Conca Sport and Fitness, here to provide the most comprehensive and professional strength and conditioning programs. Develop exclusive strength and speed. Build a body that can resist injury. Access to world-class strength coaches and personalized attention guaranteed to improve performance. Take your fitness or athletic performance to a much higher level. ConcaSportAndFitness.com 413-304-2350 Rob, we come into a week here um, for the first f probably three, four weeks of the season. It seemed like a lot of games uh, smushed into a short amount of time. We're in a position now where you come in this week, have an off day there on Sunday, have an off day on Monday, long practice week into the one game. Um, does practice week change at all when, you're, when you have just the one game compared to a three and three? And um, if it does, so what are the specifics and how it changes during the week? Well, I think it's a good thing. October, as you mentioned, was a very busy month, especially with the injuries we had. It was really, we were pretty much in a survival mode, just trying to get through those games and keep people healthy and win enough games to, to stay right where we needed to stay, which we did. So that was a good thing. Um, it is good to have some weeks where you get more practice days because uh, we still have a lot of moving pieces of guys coming and going. So uh, this week, although we did use it for uh, some of the off-ice training, has been good for us. And next week will be great for us with, uh, with some practices and really preparing and kind of going over things that we've done well and not done well in the first 12 games. Damon yeah. Markowitz along with Rob Riley here at the Mass Mutual Center. Another weekly webisode presented by Conca Sport and Fitness, 1425 Westfield Street, out in West Springfield. Check Conca Sport and Fitness out. Uh, great staff out there to get you in the shape no matter what sport that you play. Uh, great job out there. And uh, Rob, last topic I want to get into is, is the Adirondack Phantoms. Uh, one game this week on Friday night here at the Mass Mutual Center. Um, just to walk us through a little bit what you know about the Phantoms. It's been a long time since we've seen them. But now a divisional rival, uh, Springfield Adirondack right now neck and neck in the standings. Just how important this game is and what you know about Adirondack. Well, I think we saw them uh, last year, the second half of the season. They were one of the best teams in the American Hockey League. So many of those players are back. Uh, Leighton in goal is a proven NHL goalie and really gives them a, a solid uh, number one guy in goal. Uh, they're a very good team, obviously. They were been in first place most of the year. Now they've dropped back, lost a couple. But uh, Tommy Sestito will be coming back, one of the many good uh, good forwards that they have, and they're very solid on defense. Just, you know, every, it seems like we say this every time we play somebody, but another real good team that... Uh, you know, I'm sure they are very confident in their in their team and their ability to make the playoffs. So we'll have our hands full, but we look forward to it. Has it been good right now for this group to, to face a lot of top end uh, teams right now? It seems like every weekend uh, you had Hershey coming in was tops in their division. St. John's was playing really well. You faced Connecticut when they were playing really well. Has it been nice to face that stiff competition here early on to kind of get a feel as far as what you have in that room? I think it's important that you not only you face those teams, but you're able to beat some of them, which. Uh, you know, we didn't happen last year a lot with the real top teams. We did very well with the 500 teams, but uh, you have to beat the top teams to be con to gain that respect from teams. We've done some of that. We need to keep doing more of it here as, as the season goes along. But the flip side to that is it doesn't seem like there are too many down teams. Right. You know, um, even the teams that you know maybe started slowly are now playing pretty well. So, so it's a great league. There's a lot of parity this year, probably more than last year, and. And we'll see it here this weekend and then next weekend with some more home games. Yeah. David Mark, what's along with Rob Riley here, uh, pretty much on center ice here at the Mass Mutual Center this week, coming to you another weekly webisode presented by Conca Sport and Fitness, 1425 Westfield Street, out in West Springfield. Don't forget about the social media streams as well. Go to falconsahl.com anytime. Check out the official Facebook, official Twitter. Uh, just been a crazy week here in Springfield. And I want to end with that, Rob, is um, obviously the power outage and the storm that hit here Saturday uh, affected a little bit, a little extra off day there on Monday. But um, as a group, how do you keep the group focused when you, when you have some off-ice uh, distractions that can creep in with you know, guys with no power and taking care of their families first, that type of thing? How has the group kind of stayed focused here throughout the week and, and making sure you know, there's a game to play Friday and, and your focus is on that? Well, I think the, the good thing for our guys is that it, it, they're only here, you know, three or four hours in the morning and so for people like Nick Holden and, and Andrew Judry whose wives are are very pregnant here mm -hmm. expecting any day I think uh, they're able to go back and take care of business where they need to be for the other guys the younger guys um, they're pretty resilient they've they've been in pro hockey they've been in a lot of different places uh, they moved out of their houses probably when they're 15 or 16 so this is just another little uh, bump in the road for them nothing major but you know we are concerned obviously when when Nick Holden had to leave and there's no power in their house and his wife, uh, the hospital's clo you know, closed. And so he had some challenges along with Andrew, but uh, it's, it's a great group of guys. They care a lot about each other. And I think guys have picked each other up and 
they were telling us uh, earlier that some guys had a little sleepover last night because other guys didn't have uh, didn't have their power yet. So uh, it's a very uh, adjustable and adaptable group, I'm sure. It's been team bonding, and you didn't have to plan that one. So. Yeah, that that uh, has worked out pretty well, and I know uh, even our assistant coaches for Brad and Nolan, uh, no power still. So uh, every, everyone has their challenges, but I think uh, you know we'll get through it here and and hopefully can move on in a very positive way. It seems like the region's getting back to normal, which is good. But, Rob, thanks again for joining us, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Damon. Thanks, Rob. And thank you again for joining us out there. Thank you to Conca Sport and Fitness, 1425 Westfield Street in West Springfield, presenting sponsor of these weekly webisodes, coming to you every week, uh, whether it's the coach, players, GM, Bruce Landon, uh, every week trying to keep the fans out there informed and what's going on here throughout the Falcons news. So, again, don't forget about the social media streams. Go to thefalconsahl.com, official Facebook, official Twitter, updated all the time here throughout the Falcons office, pro providing great news out there to all the fans. So, once again, thank you for joining us out there. Thank you, Conca Sport and Fitness. We'll see you next week.